Hello and welcome to all. Here are the 10 mistakes in movies that you probably never noticed. Let's get started. When it was released in 1993, the film Jurassic Park was a phenomenal success worldwide, earning no less than $912 million at the American and world box offices. This blockbuster, which won three Oscars, was seen as a real revelation in terms of digital special effects and animatronics. Its director, Steven Spielberg, was acclaimed by film critics for having succeeded in bringing back to life dinosaurs that have been extinct for millions of years, and for having made them look even more real than life. But as is the case with almost every film ever made, if you watch Jurassic Park with a slightly more discerning eye, you may find a few small mistakes carefully hidden in the editing process. The editors of the film probably thought that no one would pay attention to them, or even worse, Maybe they didn't even notice these false connections themselves when they were editing the images. Anyway, some fans of the dinosaur saga did not fail to point out these small anomalies and to expose them to the public. This sequence shows us a scene from the movie where a ferocious velociraptor opens a door and you can clearly see at this moment the hand of an operator who grabs the tail of the dinosaur to guide it. Directed by Ridley Scott and released in the year 2000, the film Gladiator was a great success among the public and also among critics of the seventh art. This Hollywood blockbuster with the peplum look won no less than five Oscars, including Best Picture, Best Visual Effects, and Best Actor for Russell Crowe, who brilliantly played the role of the deposed Roman general, the Great Maximus. Praised by critics for the quality and excellence of its direction, Gladiator nevertheless gathers some errors that have managed to slip in during the post-editing of the feature film. On this unusual sequence, you can see one of the most exciting scenes of the film, where Maximus is addressing the crowd that came to attend the gladiatorial games. The director then shows us a wide shot of the audience and the arena, and if you look carefully, you can see on the left side of the screen a man in jeans and a white t-shirt operating a camera on a tripod. First part of the cult saga Indiana Jones, the film Raiders of the Lost Ark, directed by Steven Spielberg and co-produced by George Lucas, had caused a real hit at the American box office when it was released in 1981. This film, which narrates the adventures of the inimitable and facetious American archaeologist, was one of the most profitable feature films of all time, and its commercial success was matched only by its triumph among the public and film critics. However, Spielberg's meticulous direction and meticulous eye could not overcome these damnable false chords and other small errors and more or less flagrant anachronisms. These cursed errors have indeed the exasperating gift of being encrusted everywhere, especially where they are not needed, as you will see on this unusual sequence. On this scene, which shows Indiana Jones in the foreground, you can see a very surprising detail just behind the actor, next to the bottle of whiskey on the table. If you look carefully, you can distinguish an extra dressed in jeans and a t-shirt, a fashion that is far from sticking with the time of the movie, supposed to take place in the 30s. The Lord of the Rings is a trilogy of films, which is considered by many to be a true work of cinematographic art, so much so that it would have more place in a museum than in a movie theater. A true blockbuster with a production budget estimated at $285 million the three films released between 2001 and 2003 earned a little over $3 billion at the global box office. But even this commercial success was almost overshadowed by the extremely positive reception that the trilogy received from the public, but also from the critics and true moviegoers. The three films of the Lord of the Rings trilogy won no less than 17 Oscars out of a total of 30 nominations. A victory literally crushing for its New Zealand director, Peter Jackson, who reached a real consecration with his trilogy, for which he had given body and soul during the shooting. But in spite of his strong sense of detail and his very meticulous and careful realization, the New Zealand director let pass some small errors, such as this more than flagrant anachronism that you will see on this picture. You recognize that between Thousand, it is about the inenerable and very charismatic Gandalf the White, played by the incredible British actor Sir Ian McKellen. This picture is taken from the epic battle scene that took place between the orc and human armies in the last part of the trilogy, The Return of the King. We can see this dear magician brandishing his sword and ready to slay his enemies. But look at his left wrists, 
Yes, it is indeed a watch that this dear magician wears so proudly. An artifact that hardly has its place in the middle land, don't you think? Here is one of the most hilarious and funny mistakes which managed to be hidden in a big budget Hollywood movie. It's about the movie Pretty Woman, a rom-com directed by Gary Marshall in 1990, and that some reckless and die-hard fans won't hesitate to classify as a cult movie. This comedy, which is rather gossipy and sentimental to excess, has at least had the merit of propelling the acting career of Julia Roberts and making her reach the status of a true Hollywood star. In this scene from the film, we can see the young actress having breakfast with her lover, played by the actor Richard Gere. But if you look properly, you will see that the croissant that the young woman eats is magically transformed into a pancake, a faux record that will have escaped no one and some fans found this little pastry mistake a very bad taste, no pun intended. Even the biggest Hollywood blockbusters can't escape the curse of false connections and anachronisms that abound on film sets. Pirates of the Caribbean is no exception to the rule, and although this film has benefited from a very professional and involved production team, the fact remains that the future films of the saga are full of small errors that could have been easily avoided. In this sequence from the first opus of the Pirate Saga, the camera does a close-up of the inimitable Captain Jack Sparrow. But if you look a little closer behind him, you can see a man with a hat, which has absolutely nothing to do in the middle of the Caribbean. Wearing a cowboy hat, this extra has probably forgotten the historical context of the film, or that he simply got on the wrong set. Who knows? The film Hitch is a romantic comedy released in 2005 and masterly brought to the screen by the two Hollywood superstars, Will Smith and Ava Mendez. With a production budget of $70 million and a net income at the worldwide box office of $371.6 million, we can definitely say that this film was a commercial success. Critically, the result was a little more mixed since many fans of The Seventh Art did not like the predictable humor and the puerile romance of this feature film, which could be shortened a little. We won't dwell too much on the synopsis of the film, which is ultimately as muddy as it is hollow, and which would surely have been a box office flop if it weren't for the prestigious actors who make up its cast. Because what really interests us are these small errors, which go unnoticed in the editing, but which do not escape the vigilance of the seasoned spectators. In one of the most funny scenes of the movie, the character played by Will Smith will have a violent allergic reaction, which makes him swell up the right side of his face. Except that, just a little later in the film, the allergic swelling goes this time to the left side of the actor's face. The Harry Potter saga will have lasted a whole decade and brought in a little more than $8 billion, thus becoming the second most profitable franchise of all time. And it must be said that to recreate this magical and phantasmagorical universe of J.K. Rowling's books, the directors did not go easy on the special effects and other cinematographic tricks. The sets and scenes were literally combed through with a fine tooth comb, and great care was taken by the filming technicians and their assistants. Because to make the Hogwarts universe even more real, it was necessary to have a real sense for detail, because they say that the devil is in the details, isn't it? Well, we found the devil, because the error hidden in the film that you will see on this sequence is indeed more devious than a devil in a box. Take a good look at this wand fight scene, which took place between Harry Potter and Draco Malfoy in the second installment of the saga, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. The thrilling action of this colorful duel will have perhaps obnubilated you with spirit and the glance. But if one actuates, you freeze a frame, you will be able to see then a cameraman all on the left of the screen. He probably should have put on Harry's invisibility cloak, because when you see him, the whole magic of the film almost melts away. Frozen is an animated feature film produced by Disney Studios and released in 2013. This film tells the fabulous story of the brave princess Anna, who goes in search of her missing sister Elsa in a world made of ice and enchantment. Thanks to a massive marketing campaign skillfully orchestrated by Disney Studios, this film was very well received by the public and the critics, and its commercial success was literally overwhelming. Exceeding $1 billion in worldwide box office receipts, Frozen had indeed become the biggest box office success for an animated film, and in terms of awards, it can be said that this feature film will have swept everything. Since it was widely rewarded at the 2014 Annie Awards 
the 2014 Golden Globes, as well as the 2014 Academy Awards, where it will collect two precious golden statuettes. The list of records set by Frozen is still long, and we will probably need a whole video to list them all. So we will simply show you on this sequence a stupid error of animation which managed to escape the vigilance of the draftsman. Take a look at the beautiful Princess Elsa, who is waving her beautiful blonde hair in this scene from the movie. If you have a keen eye like an eagle, you'll notice that Elsa's hair actually goes through her shoulder, as if it had become intangible. And as always on your favorite YouTube channel, we have saved the best for last, with this sequence at the very least soaring. Here is one of the most emotional scenes from the historical blockbuster Gladiator, where we can see General Maximus haranguing the crowd that came to watch the bloody gladiatorial games. The scene is poignant, and the acting of the talented Russell Crowe has nothing to reproach himself for, but some internet users have nevertheless detected a scandalous anachronism, which the directors of the film have zapped during editing. Look carefully in the sky just above Maximus. Don't you see a plane passing quietly in the sky? But what does an aircraft have to do with a time when we didn't even know that objects heavier than air could fly? Don't worry, because this is in fact a false error. Indeed, there was never an airplane in this scene, since it is only a vulgar photo montage realized by some smart guys. Now tell us in the comments what you think of these 10 completely blatant and incongruous mistakes hidden in movies, and that you had probably never seen before. Don't forget to subscribe and click here to watch another of our videos.